If you have some jeans and they just are not fitting anymore, they're too small. You guys know I love upsizing jeans. So here's another really, really cute way to upsize your jeans. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us and we also do it in New York City. Today I am super excited to be doing a special project here in New York. At this point of taping, I don't know exactly how it's going to wrap up, but check the description box. I should be hopefully making a big announcement on April 10th um, as to whether it's going to happen, what's going to happen. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. But today I am going to do a tutorial that kind of applies to what's going on. All right, so what if you have that perfect pair of jeans? It fits you amazingly, makes your butt look amazing but all of a sudden what we say here on this channel the jeans started to shrink they don't fit you quite as well as they used to and you don't want to give them away you want to give them new life try this hack first of all you want to try your jeans on and figure out how much they are too small no matter whether they're a little bit too small or a lot of bit too small you're just gonna measure from the end of the button to the end of the buttonhole. And then you're going to divide that by two and add seam allowance. So if say for instance, this was two inches, we divide it by two, that's, we need to add one inch on each side, but we wanna make sure we add seam allowance because um, we don't want to not add enough. And just a quick tip, if you add more than what you think you need, that's always a little bit better because then you can always take them in. But if you don't add enough, then you'll have to redo the project. So that's a tip to help you ease your frustration. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these apart on the sides. All right, so I have them open on both sides. Now let's make a panel to go on the inside. All right, so I have another pair of jeans that I actually thrifted for like 75 cents. They have a stain on them. They've already been washed with OxyClean, so that means that more than likely, this stain probably won't come out. So it's a good opportunity to use these for scrap. So I'm going to use the back. I've already taken off the back pockets, and you guys know I like to use a surgical seam ripper to get the top of the pockets because it's like really difficult. They really sew it on good so it doesn't come undone. I'm gonna use the back of these in order to make a panel for the jeans. First of all, you wanna make sure that the jeans that you use as the panel are the same length or at least longer than the jeans that you're trying to retrofit. And they are not. I'm gonna either have to add another little panel at the bottom or let out the hem. Barely making it, but we're gonna do our best. All right, so a lot of people, when I do this, they get anxious about how big the bottom of the triangle should be. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use, you know, just a few inches and we're gonna taper it up towards the top. Do not forget the top measurement is important. Remember at the beginning we said we had two inches, so we need one inch on each side plus seam allowance. So we have two and a quarter inches. That is enough. We could really do like one and a half, but two and a quarter is better because like I said, I like to always do more and then take away. All right, so now we have our slight triangle. It's not even a wide triangle, it's just a slight triangle. So now we're gonna turn this over and duplicate it here. We have our two pieces. Now we are going to add a little razzle dazzle. All right, you can see to make this easy for myself, I just went to Google Images and printed out a star and made it you know, smaller and smaller and smaller. But I'm going to cut all of these out and then I'm gonna lay them out and see how they look. And I am going to trace around them. All right, here's how we're gonna cut these out. Um, I think the easiest way is just to fold it in half and cut it that way. So let's see how this turned out. Yay, that's cool. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are in the middle of a series where we are upcycling our dream Pinterest wardrobe. So you definitely don't wanna miss that as well as a series like this where we are altering our everyday basis to make sure they fit 
us, our bodies and our styles. And if you need help planning out your upcycle projects, definitely. I have an upcycle planner for sale. It is amazing. I use it myself and I have been using it so helpful. So definitely check the description box for that. And if you want to become a member here for behind the scenes and early footage of different things that's going on, definitely hit that join button to learn more. All right, back to the video. All right, so we have this one completely cut out. And I don't know if you guys remember when I did the um, cropping the denim jacket and we learned how to shorten a zipper. I still have this piece. So we're going to use this as some fabric to back these up. So I'm just gonna cut. And all we need is some squares. Now you could put a piece, like a whole nother piece to go the whole distance. That would be maybe easier, but I don't have a whole piece of this color, so. So you just need a piece that's big enough to cover, it's like making patches. Now we're gonna take this and go to the sewing machine and sew it down right along the edge using some matching thread. You can either use thread that is light blue like this or dark blue like this. Now, let me give you guys some other ideas of different things that you can do with these panels. You guys know that we've put panels on a bunch of different jeans. I'll pop up some here. We've put Adidas stripes on the side. We put a lot of different things. Here's some other ideas. You could do whatever shape you want to. Um, you can just do circles um, and then you would just fold it and cut a half circle. You wouldn't even have to print out anything. You could also do hearts. Hearts would be really easy to do. You could also, remember when we did the embroidery, you could just make this panel and don't cut anything on it just add some swirly lines embroidery whatever you want to add on this panel that would be really cool as well remember when we did the woven loops to make the jeans longer you can also add those on the side um, all along the side you know if you want that detail as high or as low whatever you want to do um, you could do that on the side I think that would be really really dope so those are some other ideas and as you can see it's not perfect like the same distance or all the way around, but it is going to fray and reveal more of that shape. So I'm happy with that. All right, so now we have our panel all done and we have our jeans laid flat. It's time to put these back together again. All we want to do is lay the panel on whatever side you want it to be on. And then you're going to lay it good side to good side, good side to good side. We're gonna go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and sew this front side together. You wanna make sure you backstitch at the waistband. Do not sew over the rivet with your sewing machine, please. You will lose your needle and possibly damage your sewing machine. So make sure you avoid that. Yeah, look at this. Yes. All right, so I also wanted to uh, give a little top stitch on the front since it's open, especially if you can't search. Ooh, that is a nice thing. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Come on. This may be helpful um, to make sure those seams don't come apart, but because these are wide leg, they're not skinny jeans, they have a much less likely chance of coming apart. Cell right would have done it, but it's at my office. All right, this is looking so good. Look at that scene. Oh my gosh, I just wish I had the cell right here so I could go through here. Um, like I showed you guys before, another thing, even when you do whatever you do, hammer it and it'll make it flatter. So now we're gonna turn it inside out and we're not going to be able to top stitch this back part. So just so you know, now we have it inside out and we are going to put this edge together and sew this close. All right, second time's a turn. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm going to lightly stretch this layer so that at the end they both end up at the same length. You don't wanna stretch too much because you don't want a ripply seam, but this, these jeans, the dark is stretchier than the light. So I'm gonna slightly stretch it and see if I can get a better outcome. Oh, elasticity. Ooh, ah. Uh... Oh, look at those, so retro. All right, so that was easy. Let's see how it turned out and how we can style it for these New York streets. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been thinking to myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. 
like a boss babe in this outfit. As you can see, this can be dressed up. And of course it's jeans, so of course it can be dressed down. Definitely let me know if you're interested in doing this and what you will put on the side of yours, whether you're gonna do embroidery, like the open weaving or hearts, what you're gonna do with yours. I will definitely put a link to all of the other upsizing solutions I have done in the past. I'll put those links in the description box below. And definitely check out some other videos. Like I said, I don't know what's gonna be happening with this thing that I'm doing in New York, but if there is something, I will announce it on April 10th. So definitely come back here and check the description box or just hit that subscribe button and you'll see a short about it very, very soon. And if you're still watching at this point in the video, thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.